The U.S. Marine Corps has given us a look at the Long Range Fires Launcher LMSL, which is an uncrewed 4x4 launch vehicle designed for ground-based Tomahawk cruise missile units. Two Long Range Fires launchers were part of the backdrop for an official ceremony to mark the standing up of Battery A, 11th Marines, at Camp Pendleton in California on July 21st. The Marine Corps had successfully carried out a Tomahawk cruise missile launch from its Long Range Fires launcher in August last year at Naval Air Weapons Station, China Lake, California. The service's first Long Range missile, Battery, had already been formally activated earlier this year. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Tomahawk-armed, uncrewed Long Range Fires launcher would be a game changer for the U.S. Marines. Change is the only constant, and this is especially true when it comes to modern warfare, which is evolving at a rapid pace. This implementation is in sync with distributed lethality concept. Unmanned launch vehicles networked together could be employed in small groups and these can bring lethal fire to a significantly large area. The operator and the launcher could be deployed in a distributed manner and be much more mobile and flexible. This will mean the rival won't be able to target them easily and decisively. The key concept is to be able to rapidly deploy Marines to establish forward bases across a broad area of operations, and then they'll rapidly position themselves as per the tactical situation in the battle space. The Long Range Fires Launcher presents a noticeable departure from the earlier design derived from the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle JLTV, which is configured to launch the Naval Strike Missile NSM, also known as the Navy Marine Expeditionary Ship Interdiction Systems Nemesis. Unlike Nemesis, the Long Range Fires Launcher seems to accommodate only one Tomahawk missile at a time, lacking the capability to carry two ready-to-fire missiles simultaneously. The Long Range Fires Launcher also features distinct boxes on either side of the chassis center, a feature absent in Nemesis. The exact purpose of these boxes remains unclear, but they may house various Tomahawk-specific systems possibly including fire control hardware. It's worth noting that the Long Range Fires Launcher is notably smaller than the tractor trailer and containerized weapon systems deployed by the U.S. Army and Navy for launching Tomahawk and other missiles. Marine Corps uncrewed launcher vehicle is more transportable, including air transport, when compared to U.S. Army systems known as Typhon and the U.S. Navy systems called the Mark 70 Expeditionary Launcher. The Marine Corps aims to establish a fully operational multi-battery long-range fires launcher battalion, comprising an unspecified number of launchers by the year 2030. Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered, subsonic cruise missile. It was designed and initially produced in the 1970s by General Dynamics. Depending on the variant, the missile has a maximum range of 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers. Over the years, the missile has seen many upgrades to keep it relevant. Block 5 is the latest one and has two variants, 5A and 5B. The Block 5A variant is called Maritime Strike. It has a new seeker capable of hitting a moving target, so it could be used to target a rival's surface combatants. The target information in the variant could be updated in flight. The warhead will be geared towards destroying enemy warships. The Block 5B features the JMEWS, or Joint Multi-Effects Warhead System. It has a two-stage warhead that combines blast fragmentation and enhanced penetration in one warhead. It will be able to destroy a wide variety of targets, soft targets like parked aircraft, as well as hardened ones like bunkers.
Marine Corps Colonel Patrick Eldridge, the commanding officer of the 11th Marines, said at Battery A's activation ceremony, I imagine someone pretty high up said, We've seen what Marines can do with rifles, let's see what Marines can do with tomahawks. LMSL is part of the larger sea denial component of the Marine Corps. It's important to note that land-based NSM has a range of 200 kilometers or 120 miles, making it too short-ranged in most situations when operating against an adversary like China when deployed in the Indo-Pacific region. This is where Tomahawk-armed long-range missile battery will be useful. It will be able to engage Chinese ships from much longer ranges. The bases from which these can be launched will be beyond the strike envelope of most Chinese systems. LMSL will enable excellent flexibility and would be a game changer for the U.S. Marine Corps. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.